Shuttle is standing by, Captain. Bones, thanks for helping out. Dr. Marcus asked for the steady stands on the ship. You know, when I dreamt about being stuck on a deserted planet with a gorgeous woman, there was no torpedo. Dr. McCoy, may I remind you, you are not there to flirt. So how can these legendary hands help you, Dr. Marcus? Bones. To understand how powerful these weapons are, we need to open the warhead. To do that, we need to access the fuel compartment. Unfortunately for us, the warheads on these weapons are live. Sweetheart, I once performed an emergency C-section on a pregnant corn. Octuplets. Well, let me tell you, those little bastards bite. I think I can work some magic on your missile. Dr. McCoy, there's a bundle of fiber optic cables against the inner casing. You'll need to cut the 23rd wire down. Whatever you do, do not touch anything else. Do you understand? Right. Thought never crossed my mind. Dr. McCoy, wait for my word. I'm rerouting the detonation processor. Are you ready? And rearing. Good luck. Ah! Sir, the torpedo just armed the itself. It's gonna detonate in 30 seconds. What the hell happened? I can't get my arm out. Target their signal, beam them back right now. Transporter cannot differentiate between Dr. McCoy and the torpedo. We cannot beam back one without the other. Dr. Marcus, can you disarm it? I'm trying. I'm trying. Jim, get her the hell out of here. No, if you beam me back, he dies. Just let me do it. Ten. Nine. Eight. Standing by to transport Dr. Marcus on your command, sir. Four. Three. Six. The activation successful, Captain. Dr. McCoy, are you all right? Bones. Jim. You're going to want to see this. SS Vengeance Bridge Crew requesting entry to construction hangar. You are clear to enter the hangar. I need a welding team on the number one nacelle. 